on this page, we have got an image element here with this placeholder image in. And beneath that, we've got a text element with some paragraphs of text. One of the things which is possible with Typo3 is to use something called a text and image element, which allows us to get the text interacting with the image in a slightly better way. So whilst this is two separate elements, and I'll show you that here in the, let me just get rid of that. Here in the back end, you can see we've got our image element and we've got our text element. Now, if we wanted to get this text to kind of wrap around the image, we wouldn't be able to do that in its current configuration. We can use this new element I'm gonna talk about today, which is the text and image element. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to leave these where they are and I'm going to continue adding to this page. And what I will do is I will create a new element and under the typical page content in the new content element screen, I'm going to choose text and image and that's going to open my text and image element and then it's going to have my content area. So this is exactly the same as a regular text element at this point. So if I just come to the front end of the website, I'm just gonna grab this text and copy it that I've already used. And then I'll paste that in there, lovely. And I'm just gonna do some quick tidying up of the formatting. It's really important when you're adding text into the rich text editor in Typo, that you do make sure that it's correctly formatted so that it inherits the correct styles from the website. Okay, so that's nice. And then I'm gonna select this and I'm just gonna make that a featured paragraph because that's what it was on the other one. And that is the text of the text and image element added. So, so far this is exactly the same as the regular text element, we've just added some text. What you'll notice though is because we're in the text and image element, we've got this image tab at the top. So if we jump into the image tab, and now this looks very similar to just the image element. So here we can add an image. You can see here it's brought up our file manager. We can browse to wherever we put our image, or we can even upload a new image if we want to. In this instance, I'm just gonna use this placeholder image that I've put in, okay? And then, so this is where the text and image element becomes quite powerful, is that we can choose the position. Now, if we were just in the image element, we can choose center, left aligned, or right aligned. But because we're in the text and image element, we can actually decide how we want the image to interact with the text. And you can see our options. And again, these options might be slightly different on your version of Typo3 or your specific site but generally these are the kind of options that we provide with our Typo3 websites. So for example, we can say in text left, and you can see from the little diagram that that's gonna bring the image over to the left, and then the text is gonna wrap around it. And for this example, I'm just gonna leave the width and height of the image alone, and I'm just gonna save that, and then I'm gonna save and close that. And you can see, so these two, these two elements here are what we started with. This is the new text and image element that I've put underneath. And you can see the text and you can also see the image. So if we jump to the front end of the website now and view that page, then we've now got our image over to the left and the text wrapping around it. So that is quite nice. The alignment of the image with the text will depend on the specific styles of your own website. So it might differ slightly. On the Liquid Light site, we've sort of slightly outdented our images, as you can see here. That might not be how your site is styled. So each can be a little bit different, but hopefully the overall effect can still be achieved through using text and image element on your own Typo3 website. If we go back to the back end now, maybe I decide that that image is a little bit too big. So what I can do is I can set a width for the image and again, we always recommend that you upload the image at the size that you want to see it. So for the best performance, I would recommend if you were looking at this and you thought, oh, that image is a bit big, it would be far better for you to go back to your original image on your desktop, resize it to the size you want to see it, and then re-upload it to Typo3. For the sake of this example, I'm just gonna use this width and height, and I'm gonna set this to 300 pixels. And if I save that, and then refresh the front end. You can see how that shrunk the image and the text has flowed around it just as we would expect. 
Maybe we decide actually we would like the image to sit to the right. We can easily change the position there and save that. If we refresh that again, you can see now the image sits over to the right. I think that looks maybe a little bit better. And just like with the standard image element, you can add more than one image here. You just keep adding to your heart's content. So if I click add image here, I'm gonna add another placeholder image, click save. And then if I refresh the front end, there you can see that image now stacking up and the text is adjusting itself accordingly. Another cool position that we've got is let me actually, I'm just going to remove one of these images. Yes. So now we've just got the one image again. Uh, it's quite nice to be able to do beside text. So if I do beside text right and save that, and now if I just refresh that, what that does is it actually puts the image beside the text, but you can see the text doesn't wrap around it in the same way. So sometimes it's just slightly nice to do that and have that option available to you. So that is pretty much using the text and image element. You can see how that particular element affords you a lot of flexibility when you're laying out your pages. It means you can make some really nice design choices and really make what would just be a text page really come alive. So I hope you found that helpful and thanks for watching.